today's video I will be sharing with you my screen because I'm teaching you how to create a free landing page using MailerLite. Hi there, this is Connie Zabala and I'm here to help you get your time freedom back. This channel is all about the virtual assistant industry where I share with you some tips, tools, training and video interviews about the virtual assistant industry. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications once I publish videos. So today I'll be sharing with you my screen and teaching you how to create a free landing pages for your clients or for your own website using MailerLite. So as promised, I am now sharing with you my screen and showing you later how to create free landing page using MailerLite. Now before we begin with the actual demonstration, I want to share what can you expect from this short tutorial. So first, we are going to discuss what is a landing page, why create a landing page, and we will have a short comparison of landing page versus website. I will be sharing with you examples of landing pages and steps to create which means an actual demonstration. Alright, so what is a landing page? So first of all, landing page uh, look like this. Alright, this is from Shopify, this is from Wistia, and this is my actual landing page. So later, I will be demonstrating to you how to create this specific land landing page, alright? Now, landing page is a one-page site which the only goal is to get email addresses, alright? So that is a landing page. And landing page is also called squeeze pages because of the goal. We only need to get the email addresses of those visitors, all right? Now, why do we have to create or use a landing page? Because, of course, we want, for one goal, we want to get leads. And leads can be from your client's businesses. So, your client, of course, needs to have customers, needs to have clients, all right? Of course, for your own VA business as well. So if you're collating email addresses for your prospects that will be a potential client in the future, you might want to have a landing page as well. Now, let me share with you some pointers of uh, the difference between landing page and website. I'll share with you just two points. So that we can go ahead with the actual demonstration all right landing page again is one page and it has only one goal or one call to action unlike websites websites have maybe one but they they can be most of the time they are more than one call to actions and there are multiple pages of course because they have multiple content so that's the difference so don't don't Confuse yourself with website and landing pages. The only thing that some people describe landing pages as website because you are directed to a website-like page, all right? Okay, so again, these are the examples of landing pages that I can share with you. Now, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure to to click that thumbs up button <laughs> now for the demonstration so we will go ahead with mailer light but before we do that we have to prepare some things of course because we do we want to make sure that we have content to add when creating the landing page so we need to prepare our lead magnet lead magnet is a file that we give to the person who is giving their email addresses to us all right so sometimes it's called a quote-unquote bribe because we're giving something for them so that they will give their addresses email addresses to us all right so it's um a sort of it's sort of an exchange uh transaction all right and then we need 
to also to state or to know and determine the benefits of getting the lead magnet because we just don't want to share with them that we're giving something we have to convince them why they need to get the lead magnet why they will be giving us their email addresses all right so we need to state the benefits and it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a long statement just bullet points will do and then if you have if you or your clients have branding items such as logo um, colors and fonts you might as well prepare for those things and then if you have testimonials former clients or former customers former buyers and you have their testimony or your, your review or feedback you can prepare them as well here is my mailer light account so before you can create a mailer light account the most possible way to approve your account when signing up is to have your own domain name so this is my uh, landing page where this is a landing page for my clients for my prospects because I'm I'm offering YouTube growth or YouTube organic marketing so I'm giving them a simple hack on how to grow the YouTube channel so this is my landing page and uh, my lead magnet is infographic if you can see here right it's an infographic that they need because of the following benefits in my previous slide I mentioned that you must have testimonials so I've got some testimonials here and then I re-entered the email of it anyway let's go ahead and recreate this one okay what I will do is go to sites and then create this orange button called la uh, landing page of course and then for example I will recreate this one right so I will name it as YT hacks to for example then save once you created a name for your landing page you will choose which type of email list uh, you are going to save when people enter the email addresses so for example i will put them here in prospects for ytm because this list prospects for ytm is prospects for youtube marketing so for example that's the list that i want people to be saved like for example if i entered my first name and email addresses on the landing page that i created my details will be recorded on this list this is an email list all right subscriber groups means email list in other terms all right and then save and continue so these are the templates that mailer Live is sharing with us for free we can customize it a little bit so we can um, make it look like our brand so let me check what is the best landing page that can look like this all right i'll choose this one instead this one this one at this this one let's give it give it a preview i think this one would look almost the same as this one once we customize it all right so let's use this as a template we can customize it so it will we won't really mean that if that the landing page we're creating would look exactly like the template we are trying to imitate or replicate this one or duplicate this one just to demonstrate to you that it's easy to do it all right so when you hover your mouse around this area where the content is located you will see a frame you will see that a frame is appearing and there are symbols in it so this one is for us to edit the content so when you click that at the right side you will see the things that you can edit here and then when you click this duplicate it will duplicate the section the same part this so we, if you select this one we can remove or delete that section okay so there so since these have an image on the right side we will not be using this one so i'll be adding a new section instead since we can remove something by clicking the delete or the trash bin 
icon we can also add some section and when we click that you can choose which section you'd like to add so for me i will be adding a simple sign up form so this is the one okay this looks like so this is the simple sign up form i will be using this instead and we will be de deleting this okay because we are imitating this one let's delete this also so let's edit this for a section we will copy this heading let's uh, select the heading Control c command c or right click and copy so you can copy that text and then we will be pasting it to heading one since this one says stay up to date so we will be pasting the headline there right so since this is super wide we can change that by going to settings and then we can set it up to medium or we can set it up to narrow so i think this one is a narrow type right so we'll we'll have it narrow and then we will be customizing the heading the color of the heading which is red there we go it looks similar almost similar right so there and then we can actually change the size of the font if we want it um, smaller or we want it bigger so it's up to you but we are um, imitating this and then we resize it to a smaller text we want them the, the headline to be up to three lines only like this one so there there you go all right now after that we will be adding more content so we will be adding text here below below this headline we will be selecting this one copying it again command c or control c and then we will paste it control v command v or right click and paste there you go you see you can do that immediately right and then since there is a first name to it and not just the email we will add another field to this to this sign up form what we will do is to go to the form tab and then add field we can change that click here to change the label this is the label the one you're seeing is an email and then the label so we can change that we can update that to first name let's drag the name above because it's first name last and email right there so that's it so you can change this this subscribe button into your own word into your preferred word so when we go here you see this subscribe we can um, imitate this one yes send my infographic so let's type in there yes send my info graphic there and then we can of course set it up uh, we can make the button larger by going to the settings and then choosing the button here call to action button and resize it make it big, bigger so we'll make it bigger and we'll make it in bold text and then we will color it yellow let's select a more a lighter color a lighter yellow color that one will do right okay there you go and if you want to add testimonials like this one you can just easily add we can delete this since we're customizing it like this we can always delete and add so for the time being so that we can make this video shorter we can just remove the rest of the sections of the items that we don't need let's delete everything there you go so this is 
uh, we will be only imitating the page above the fold page what do i mean by above the fold it means the first thing that you see without browsing or without dragging or without scrolling the page so what you see here right now is above the fold when you scroll it down that is not above the fold that's below the fold already so we emulated the above the fold page so that's how you create a landing page and now of course we have to save it we're not yet finished we have to create so what we will do next is to customize the success page what do i mean by success page this is the page that the viewer will see the subscriber will see once they submit their email addresses so what would happen if they click this send my info graphic they will be forwarded to success page so you can customize this as well so you can delete we can delete this one of course and then add our own like for example just drag a text here there and then thank you we'll customize it there thank you for signing up here's here's your info graphic click here now you can do this so that the people can easily download the infographic or you can send the infographic via email but you have to set the email so the easiest way is for you to already forward them the lead magnet that they are expecting so what you can do is to add them here right let's enter it bold make it larger there let's color it red then for example we're linking it to my infographic what i'll do is to get the link of my file my infographic which is here so i'll click this one or i'll so this is the link for this um, particular PDF file infographic and then I'll copy the link and then I will select click here click this uh, chain like icon insert link and then I will add the link here so you can choose to open a new tab when they click the button or you can choose not so they will be uh, redirecting the page will be redirected to the lead magnet so for me i'd like to open a new tab so insert then that would mean that this is clickable all right so as you can see it the color went back to black so what we can do is set it up to red here go to settings we are here all right go to settings click this uh, under the content style we will click this link and then we'll choose the red one so that it will come back to the to the red color you see there so for example that's your landing page we can test that so, so that you can see the process all right so for example save and publish we're all done with the landing page all right so we are now making the page live so this doesn't mean that you need a website when creating a landing page a landing page is just one page all right you can customize this one instead so for example youtube yt hacks sample since this is just a sample <laughs> all right and then you can i'll let you type in here whatever you want to but you should be spending time on what to put it in here and i didn't share that with you so you can just think about the keywords that you'd, you'd like to dominate that you'd like your page to be found so you can add that later so for example that's that this is the the link for your landing page we can save and continue you can edit it later this section you can edit this later and then save and continue this is the link of the landing page we created so let's open this up to a new window 
to the new window incognito so that, so that I'm not logged into anything. I'll paste the link here. See, this is the landing page we created earlier. So I'll put in my name, Connie, my email. Say, for example, me at Connie Zavala. All right, and then yes, send me infographic. When you see that, you see this, this is the, the success, success page, right? So click here so that you can download the item. So you will be forwarded to the drive where I saved the infographic and I can easily download it by clicking it here. Did you see that? There you go. So it's now downloaded. Let's click that for you to see that I did download it. All right, so there you go. So that's it. If you haven't done so yet, click the thumbs up button and subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. And then of course, I'd like to hear from you. Is this the first time you'll be creating a landing page for your website or for your clients or you already created the landing page in the past? And if you did, can you share with me what tools did you use to create it? I want to know in the comment section below. And I invite you to watch more videos with me uh, we have a VA tools playlist here so you can get to know more tools for your online business and you can also watch the video how, so you can learn how to create your email, your custom email signature on your Gmail. Thanks for watching and I see you again soon.